Another month goes by. Lots has happened for the film over the last month. And the biggest lesson learned is patience. What they don't tell you about making movies is how important patience is. This is a mental mind game. There's also a larger opportunity for patience for the film in that I've come to the conclusion and decision that now is not the time to make this film. And one of the reasons why I know it's right to shift is because now the idea of shifting and pushing this film actually fills me with a lot of hope and excitement because there are new opportunities that are available. Nothing's guaranteed in this industry. It's way too volatile. So there is a case to be made for just diving in and making the film in front of you. And if all of the pieces were aligned to make this film now, that would be the right move. But they're not all aligning. I'm not able to make it right now, but I could be able to make it on a much bigger scale next year. And in the middle of all of this, uh, as I'm thinking this, as I'm stressing about this, I'm just, I was just reminded of this idea about patience. It's as simple as this. Life is actually a marathon. Wouldn't it be a good idea to train for a marathon? I wish all of you 13, 16, 19, and 24 year olds could feel how young I am in my soul right now. It would change everything you do. You would become dramatically more patient, which would mean that you would make a lot more of the successes that you want to happen. Most of you will lose because you're trying to take shortcuts. Slow and steady wins the race. You're only competing with yourself. 25. <laughs> Just keep doing it for five years, wow. you'll be a young man, wow. and you'll be there. Patience. The disproportionate reason that most people in this room will not win is actually not the hard work, which is what I'm gonna talk about probably for the next 45 minutes. It's your lack of patience. Gary Vee, he's a, a great source of inspiration. Don't make the mistake of being impatient. The young entrepreneurs who feel like they got something to prove are the most vulnerable. And, and that really hits me. I really respond to that because I do fall into that trap of just feeling like I've got things to prove from the people who I feel like have disrespected me or haven't given me credit or haven't given me notice or who have been a source of frustration or pain to me. Those people can fill my mind in a way that's not healthy, that's that's just not balanced and appropriate, and I can just push and push and wanna just prove something to them and be impatient to the detriment of the thing I'm doing to myself. Feeling like this is a time to be patient, and if I am patient, that this film could actually become what it needs to be. It could become bigger than what it could have been now. The script is getting read by a lot of people and a lot of people are excited to help me make it. And there's a growing sort of accumulation of support for the film if I can be patient with it and if I can give it the time it needs to raise the right amount of money for the right budget. So patience is needed and patience is what I'm holding on to. And I'm at peace with the journey ahead. I'm at peace with being patient optimistic about what that patience will get me. Also eyes wide open to the reality that nothing's guaranteed. I am not by nature a patient person. And it has often led me into some great things because I just push and I get things done. I am an achiever. I'm a three on, on the Enneagram. Progress over perfection. Um, so I can do a lot. I can achieve a lot. I can squeeze a lot. But I can also do that to the piece's detriment or I can squeeze at the expense of other things. Impatience can get me a lot. It can also hurt me in a lot of ways. So I need to learn patience. I need to do better at patience. It's a virtue after all. And um, I'm gonna be patient on the film.